All right, thanks for watching. And to do, we'll do yet another neat integration problem. Namely, let's find the volume of the region bounded by the following two cones, z equals square root of x squared plus y squared and z equals six minus two square root of x squared plus y squared. Now, why is this problem very neat? Because it actually appeared on an ASU midterm, which I really liked, but my students didn't. And by the way, why is it called integral over sims? Because it will resemble a sims figure, which will be clearer in the picture, which I'll draw now. So step one, draw the picture as usual for integration problems. Now, what is z equals square root of x squared plus y squared? Well, it's just a standard cone. So it looks like this, like this. So that is z equals square root of x squared plus y squared. On the other hand, z equals 6 minus 2 square root of x squared plus y squared. It's just the upside down cone, which looks like this. And in particular, we have to find a volume between the two, which looks, again, like the Sims figure, if you ever played that game. Or almost like Sauron, you know. My precious. All right, and now, so there was the first step. The second step is to find inequalities. And at this point, I want to remark, well, we see square root of x squared plus y squared. Well, this just screams to be used uh, cylindrical coordinates. So in particular, let's transform those two things into cylindrical coordinates. Well, z equals square root of x squared plus y squared, that becomes z equals r. And then z equals 6 minus 2 square root of x squared plus y squared. That is z equals 6 minus 2r. So it's basically polar coordinates, but in three dimensions. And with this, we can already find our first inequalities, namely the one for z. Well, notice z goes from the red figure to the black figure. So red pen, black pen almost, but in cylindrical coordinates, what this becomes, it is z is between r and 6 minus 2r. And by the way, notice how the colors helped, you know, it's really from red to black. And then the other thing we need to figure out, well, the radius is from what to what and the angle is from what to what, because cylindrical coordinates have angles as well. And in order to do this as a standard, we need to find an intersection between the two uh, cones because it will give us kind of the uh, shadow between the two cones, if you wish. So for the intersection, let me do this here. All we need to figure out is when is r equal to 6 minus 2r. But that is not too hard because we can solve this. So we get 3r equals 6 and so r equals 2. So what is this saying? It is saying that the intersection between the two cones is actually a disk and more precisely, a disk of radius 2. And in particular, what we get is that r equals 2, and then the angle is just anything between 0 and 2 pi. So in order to summarize what do we have for our inequalities, we then get the following thing. So we get z is between r and 6 minus 2r r is between 0 and 2 and lastly theta is between 0 and 2 pi and this helps us find a volume because now we can actually do this so step three so the volume in terms of triple integrals is just the triple integral of the region of the function one dx dy dz or you can also do double integral of bigger minus smaller. It doesn't really matter. And then what, we, what do we get? So we do have this one. And then let's do z first. So in order not to feel too dizzy, we get integral from r to 6 minus 2r. And then r is between 0 and 2. And last but not least, theta is from 0 to 2 pi. Okay. So dz dr d theta. And last but not least, do not forget about the Jacobian, which here is r, the r d theta. So just think like a pirate. 
Okay, and then we can evaluate this. It's actually not too bad. So first of all, I would like to remind you, there is no theta in this integral. So this integral from zero to two pi just becomes two pi times whatever we have. So two pi times integral from zero to two. Now here, there is no z, so we can literally do this minus this. So six minus two r minus r, again, times r dr. And the nice thing is now we're just left with a single integral. So this becomes two pi times integral from zero to two. Again, six minus three r times r dr. And then just expand this out. So again, it's a very nice exercise, unless you have to do it on an exam. So I understand my students a little bit. And this becomes two pi times integral from zero to two of six r minus three r squared dr. And well, let's find an antiderivative. So an antiderivative of six r, if I'm not mistaken, that is three r squared. 3r squared, an antiderivative of 3r squared is r cubed. How nice is that? So from 0 to 2. And then this becomes 2 pi. Okay, 3 times 2 squared, I believe that is 12. r cubed, that is 8. Okay. So 2 pi times 12 minus 8. So 2 pi times 4. And in the end, we get some delicious 8 pi. And this is the integral over sims. All right, I hope you like this. If you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.